Alrighty, friends. Today we are going to learn how to start a podcast using Anchor. And we're going to do it the free and the easy and the fast way. Those are all very good things. So if you already have a podcast, by the way, just click switch to Anchor. And it's super duper easy to do that. They provide you with the steps. It's all good. And if you have not ever started a podcast before, which I'm assuming those of you watching the video have not, then we're going to start here. We're going to click get started now. And we're going to put in a random name. Uh, I always like to use Farquad because of King Farquad and Shrek. I always thought that was really funny. And then we're going to put in a random email and do a random password. You know, we'll even use a suggested password. Okay, now we're going to sign up. All right, and we are in. Okay, so as you can see here, they really, really make it easy for us. Uh, so let's talk about how to make our very first episode. So we're going to come here. We're going to do some random audio. I'm just going to pick it randomly. Uh, first audio I can find. Okay, this is actually one of my podcast episodes from a while back, but that's totally okay. And once this uh, finishes uploading, we can continue on with our journey. Uh, right now, we're not going to worry about sponsorships. We can do that later. I can show you all how to do that. But we're going to allow this to finish uploading. And one thing to note here is that this name is actually going to show to the public. So you're going to want to update this name to reflect whatever episode you're putting here. Now, as you can see, you can have multiple segments. So maybe you want to put in your intro and you have your intro here, the episode here, maybe an outro. So those are all things you can do here. But let's just say this is episode one. Okay, then we're going to do that and we're going to click save episode. Then we're going to give it a title. So we'll say episode one and then an, epi an episode description. Now, you may be tempted to take a lot of time and to make it look really fancy with the bold and the italics and the bullet points and all that stuff. And I'm here to tell you now, this is the only slight letdown with Anchor is that this description here does not look super awesome outside of Anchor, right? So I would just type, a, uh, you know, add in all the necessary stuff. Um, and, you know, put it, put in the description that you need to put in, but I wouldn't spend time, uh, trying to make it look aesthetically amazing because it, it really doesn't transfer to all the others. So I'm just going to write here, episode description one and, uh, publish date. Of course you can schedule it. Um, you can schedule it at a different date or you can publish it now. Uh, I'm going to just click resets now and then of course you can put in the season number episode number and put in new uh, episode art if you don't put in episode art that's customized for this episode it's going to default and I'll show you that later but it's going to default to your podcast um, artwork so if you if you are really wanting to like you know be an overachiever and be super awesome then do a unique um, thumbnail for each one and if you're just trying to um, use the same art for every episode then uh, leave this blank and then of course fill this out as you please so we're going to publish this now also you can save as draft and come back later but for the sake of this I'm going to publish now and luckily for us now Anchor is telling us to finish setting up our podcast so this is going to be the best podcast ever with a lot of r's and an exclamation point in the podcast description the very best podcast ever with a lot of r's and an exclamation point um again this actually take this seriously when you're doing this for yourself make sure to put your name and uh don't be afraid after your name let's say your podcast name is the best uh podcast ever don't be afraid to add in some extra descriptors after the podcast name this really helps you with seo so uh, podcasting for awesome people with uh, john farquad the awesomest right all this is just going into your uh your seo work it's it's uh, going to help you out a lot and again this description very powerful for seo so let's say you're trying to rank for podcast or podcasting just you know 
make sure this is keyword rich. Don't make it um, don't make it to the point where a human being wouldn't enjoy reading it, but just make sure to include the words that you want to rank for. Here's another really important part is this category. And uh, let me let me just preface this by saying you can change these things at any time. Um, you're not stuck with it, but do a good job and put some time into really thinking about what you want. Uh, my podcast is in the business and entrepreneurship section, my, my real one, not the best podcast ever. Um, and so I go into entrepreneurship. Now, you don't want to go into the to the more broad categories. You want to niche down as much as you can because that that allows you to be a bigger fish in a smaller pond. So make sure to you know make sure to go into one of these subcategories because that you're still a part of the bigger category, but you get to compete with other people on a ranking standpoint uh, in the smaller categories also. So it just gives you a better chance to rank and get more exposure. So let's just say, for example, we're going to do self-improvement and we're going to do English. So then we'll click continue and we'll add in a cover art. And just for the sake of this, I'll just pick choose one for me. And let's say we do that. And we'll see what happens. I've never actually done that before. So the best podcast ever. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so let's... Oh, this is really cool. So it actually puts the name of the podcast there. Uh, and you can choose all this stuff. Let's make sure we can read it. Oh, let's do a little, little bit of that coloration. All right, cool. Uh, and of course... You know, make sure you're actually taking this seriously and not just, you know, playing around with it because you're doing a video showing how to do it. But take it seriously, and I, I would go and grab a nice cover from either Fiverr or Upwork or go into a Facebook group with some VAs and just ask around for a nice cover because it's one of the first things people see uh, when they when they check out your podcast. So, anyways, put that in, click update cover art. And again, Anchor has really been uh, bringing us through this whole process. I'm pretty impressed by their onboarding, um, their onboarding sequence here because a lot of people struggle with this beginning part. They just don't know what to do, and so they've made this super, super easy. Um, and then it's done, and they're literally already submitting the podcast to all the major platforms, and it's like you're done. It's it's done. So now, anytime you need to add a new episode, you just go here, repeat that process that we did previously, and then anytime you need to change any of your settings, you go here. I personally turn this logo off. Uh, that's just what I do. Uh, definitely add in your external website, and then some other cool things you can do here. And this is all Lanyap. Like you're good to go already. Uh, extra. I'm from New Orleans, so I, I just say Lanyap. It just means extra. But you can go here, and um, you can include a listener support link in your show notes, and do a little message to your supporters. Uh, if you want people to literally pay you for podcasting, now you have to, of course, make it worthwhile, and you have to get them to pay you. But it's it's possible and they run it through stripe so they'll make you set up a little stripe account which is super easy to do if you want to do this and then you can also have a voice messages link in the show notes so people can send in messages to you uh, if you go down here you can see the platforms that the show's on now uh, and then eventually it will be on or at least you'll tr uh, anchor will try to get your show on all of these platforms and um, they're always trying to add new platforms to make it a better service. So it's pretty, it's a pretty great service, uh, and and it's free. So you really can't beat that. So this is really all that it takes uh, to get started with it. Again, this money piece uh, for sponsorships, you can activate this and activate this, and it's just gonna send you to Stripe to set up. Uh, anchor pay or whatever they're using whatever they're going to say but they're basically sending you through stripe you know just set up an account it's really really easy and you just turn them on here uh, and then they will occasionally match you with sponsorships and that's pretty much it y'all like this is a really easy um, really powerful service and I would uh, I would highly encourage you using it I would highly encourage you to use it because it is very helpful and it makes this process very, very, very easy. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions whatsoever, just leave me a comment in uh, down below, and I will do my very best to answer you. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.